can't even buy that kind of fun. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, all I wanted to be was an explorer. Sail the seven seas, find new worlds. But Uncle D, everything's already been found. What? Like everything? Well, yeah. Oh, man. Well, so much for that. But if I can't be an explorer, I can still be an adventurer. So I bought a motorhome and I'm hitting the open road. My name is Dustin Porter and this is Destination Adventure. Funny, the things you find on the beach. If you're practicing your driving, starting from here, and you're only making it to here, keep practicing. Other than golf balls though, this beach has so many oysters. Look at this oyster combo. This is like, I don't know, five oysters in one? It's hard to tell because this looks like a hinge, this looks like a hinge, but it's on the same shell. <laughs> That's crazy. Don't have any major plans today because I'm actually meeting up with some folks for dinner in Nanaimo, which is only like 40 minutes that way. So, kind of just walking on the beach, chilling out. Maybe do some oysters for lunch since there's so many here. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. No oysters for lunch today. Apparently this used to be an old coal processing plant. So that's probably why people haven't been collecting the oysters that are here. And I'm not really interested in testing the contamination levels, so. <sighs> Definitely not eating the oysters here. But, there is cutthroat in the bay. So I think I'm gonna grab the fly rod, fire some lasers. Just switched out my fly for this but there's a spider crab trying to steal my fishing spot you'd think being in the pacific ocean it would have fish but apparently not maybe they all migrated Atlantic or something, I don't know. No luck fishing today. I think tonight I will do some research because my knowledge of ocean fishing is so limited, I'm sure I'm doing something incorrect. So while I'm here on the island, now that I know that you can get sea run cutthroat, I'll definitely be trying again. So I'll do some research. A few more hours still before my dinner date, I guess you can call it. I'd really like to find a spot to put the crab traps in because four days ago I bought chicken and it's been sitting outside of a refrigerator in Ziploc bags. I thought I'd be crabbing more but I haven't found a spot so I want to use that up before it gets too rancid. We'll see. <laughs> found a dock. This might be my spot for crabbing.
Doesn't look like many people crab here, but I gotta get rid of this chicken. I have about a half hour to kill, so chuck them out there, pull them up probably twice each, and then mosey into Nanaimo. Don't laugh at that first throw. I was trying not to hit a guy in his boat. Oh yeah, she is right full. It's like a thousand pounds. Ooh. <laughs> Got a chicken. Let me tell you, it's a good thing I have dinner plans because I have been completely unsuccessful the entire day catching anything for dinner. But it's no biggie, tomorrow's a new day. Today we are going to go and see the world's biggest Douglas fir tree. Now they say you need 4x4 to get in there. But what they don't understand is the ability of my motorcycle here. Kind of thinking about bringing my toe strap with me so when I find the 4x4 stuck in the mud, I can at least pull them out of there. Ladies, might want to go and grab yourselves a fresh pair of underwear because it's about to get hot in here. Don't get stolen. It doesn't look that big from the road, but this thing is massive. Oh my God. <laughs> it's so crazy. The biggest Douglas fir in the entire world. <sighs> Wow, we This is Lonely Doug, and he is the tallest Douglas fir tree in the entire world. With a base that is 4 meters wide and a top that is 66 meters tall, Lonely Doug is estimated to be more than 1,000 years old. You wouldn't really think that just seeing a big tree would be that big of a deal, but seeing this thing in person, it's a really powerful experience, believe it or not. Now it's only 1 o'clock right now, so tide should start coming in in about 2 hours. Uh, I'm gonna make my way to Port Renfrew, get some fresh chicken, see if we can get some crabs for dinner. Apparently there's more trees in here. I'll go for a walk, see what's up there. Hey, don't get stolen. Wow-wee. Get it? No, please. 
Yeah, pretty gnarly ride. <laughs> messed up my tide schedule. I thought the tide started to come in at 3 o'clock, but it's actually high tide at 3 o'clock, so I kind of messed it up. Uh, it should be okay. Uh, fish and slack tide and then going into the ebb tide for a little bit should, should be all right. But the, the chicken that I bought here was frozen, so I rushed to get everything together, rush out to the dock to put the pots in, and I can't get the, the two thighs separated. So I just have one trap in right now, went back and got the GoPro, and now I'm gonna pull in my trap for the first time. Hopefully there's crabs, but at least then I can separate the chicken and get both pots out. Oh man! There we go. Both traps are out. So if this spot's working better than that spot, bring that one over here. Hopefully we get something. Pow! Big old rock crab. And it's also stuck in the trap. Come on. Yeah! Look at that boy. The best and worst thing just happened. The best thing, I, on my last pull, caught a keeper dungeness. Also the worst thing because now obviously I can't stop crabbing. So I put the pots back out and now I just have to kill some time. So I think I'm gonna put on some warmer clothing and see how the bike does on the beach. I think it's gonna be a good time. They have a little gift shop here in Port Renfrew and last time I was here I saw they had toques for sale. The weather is getting cold enough, especially when I'm on the bike. So I wanted to go get a toque. Look at this thing. It's got an anchor on it. There was a lovely lady working there too, so double bonus. Way better with the toque. I'm warm. <laughs> Chuck some paddle tires on this thing. She'll be ready for the dunes. Guys, ready to whip this beach? buy that kind of fun. <laughs> All right, one more pass, then we should probably go check the crab traps. That was way too much fun. I've either thoroughly pissed off or entertained the campers here because they're all out on the beach watching now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. There's a Dungeness in there. 
Can't tell if it's big enough or if it's male or female, but it's just nice to see the dungies in there. Well, it's a male, and it's definitely big enough, but it's in rough shape. It's missing one leg and two pinchers, and half of another leg. Still good eating, though. This is the second time now crabbing in Port Renfrew and getting Dungeness on the outgoing tide. Never seen that before, but you know, I'm not complaining. Thank you. 